Hello from the National Weather Service in Missoula. This is Travis Booth with your planning briefing for Sunday, November 13th. Looking at the key points, and we'll get into some of these details uh, as we go through. Uh, Valley Stratus through Wednesday, Arctic Front Wednesday night through early Thursday, and the change to a more active westerly flow late next weekend to, into early the following week. So the, the cold pools, valley cold pools, we've been experiencing uh, the last several days are expected to continue with the degraded air quality, some of the freezing fog during the mornings. Uh, temperatures will be highly variable, continuing to be cold, but highly variable, uh, very much dependent on, on where the stratus develops. The stratus seems most likely to remain in northwest Montana, but then extend during the overnight periods, you know, further south and west at times. But certainly uh, temperatures dropping to near zero in the valleys where sky is clear at night. And then lastly, just periods of snow flurries and very light snow as weak wa waves pass through. Uh, there, there's definitely uh, a couple waves that stand out uh, Wednesday, I'm sorry, Monday right along the divide, and then Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, some you know, subtly stronger waves that could produce some, some very light snow across the area. So something to keep in mind. Now I wanted to talk about the Arctic front that's expected Wednesday night into early Thursday. Um, what I have as far as the graphics here, this is the, uh, the American forecast model, the Canadian forecast model, and the European forecast model, and just their probability of 24-hour uh, precipitation of equal to or greater than 100 and this is all centered on a late Thursday afternoon. So this would be late Wednesday afternoon through late Thursday afternoon. Uh, probability is pretty high for at least seeing, seeing you know, some, some light precipitation along the divide, you know, near 100% chance, and then quite a gradient you know, as we go further west, but still 50, 60, 70% chance of at least seeing 100th across much of western Montana. And then that decreases even more into north central Idaho. Uh, 100 doesn't sound like a whole lot, or but with the cold air in place, just a few hundreds would be, you know, equivalent of one inch of snow. So with that in mind, uh, it does look like a widespread light snow event for Western Montana and Limhi County. Uh, anywhere from a trace to two inches seems most likely at this point. And then also those northeast to east winds of 15 to 30, uh, perhaps even in higher in those classic uh, gap areas like Bad Rock Canyon. So that could cause some blowing snow. And then in north central Idaho, fairly light snow, generally less than an inch right along the Bitterroot Crest into the eastern part of Clearwater and Idaho counties and not expecting a snow impact for western Clearwater and Idaho counties. And then once again, just a reinforcement of the cold air that's already in place, you know, as that Arctic air comes down. Wanted to look uh, even further ahead at uh, what looks to be a changing pattern for late this next weekend into early the following week, so the week of Thanksgiving. Uh, so what we have here is mid-level heights, 500 millibar heights. The anomalies are colored, so uh, the, the red colors would be higher than normal heights, and then the blue colors are lower than normal heights, so lower pressure. And if we look, this, this is uh, late this coming week, we have a northerly flow. And over the weekend into early the following week, it transitions into a westerly flow. And that'll have quite a marked difference on the, the, the perceived weather over the sensible weather over the area. So what we do see as potential impacts would be a possible atmospheric river event early that, that Thanksgiving week. So say the 21st, 22nd, 23rd of November, moderating temperatures in the valleys, which would uh, lead to the idea of a wintry mix for the valleys with the precipitation associated. And then uh, if an atmospheric river were to come together, as is the potential that we would have moderate to heavy snow in the mountains. So that's just something to keep in mind. Definitely moving away from the, 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 the colder, more stagnant pattern we've had into an active westerly flow early that, that following week or early that week of Thanksgiving. Just wanted to further emphasize that in the six to 10 day and the eight to 10 day temperature outlook. Uh, if we're looking at the six to 10 days, so that would cover November 18th through the 22nd, still well within that, you know, below normal temperature forecast for the area. But as we move into 
the uh, 8 to 14 day, which was covers November 20th through the 26th, you can see that we're getting closer to the uh, near normal temperature uh, trend, you know, during that period. So you can see a transitions taking place. And then you can also see that in the precipitation. So uh, 18th through the 22nd of November, still, you know, more in the slightly below normal forecast for precipitation. But then as we get into the, the 20th through the 26th, you know, the, the trend would be toward above normal precipitation. So you can see that that uh, change in the pattern in that sense as well with, you know, uh, uh, warmer temperatures, more seasonable temperatures, and then a trend toward, you know, wetter weather also. So just one look at the weather threat matrix here. Uh, <clears throat> on Monday, a weak wave passing along the divide, maybe some very light snow along the passes doesn't doesn't really stand out as a, a big impact. And then we talked about Tuesday, Wednesday, snow flurries, maybe enough snow on, on Wednesday in the, in the uh, northwest part of Montana that it, it could be more of a light snow event rather than just snow flurries. So that's something to keep in mind. And then Wednesday night into early Thursday, that Arctic front passes and all the, the typical associated uh, impacts with that with snow wind uh, blowing snow. And once again, it only looks to be a, a moderate uh, type impact, moderate Arctic event. Um, then then transi transitioning briefly to more stable conditions of Friday and Saturday with, with pretty cold temperatures. Uh, thank you for joining us. Our next briefing is scheduled for Thursday the 17th. Uh, if you have any questions, please get a hold of us. You have a good day.